Happy Thursday, everybody, and more importantly, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I uh, hope you all are having a good day, a uh, thankful day. Um, this video is going to be a little bit of a different thing for me, something that I've never done. I thought as part of a, an, an update to the Mutt and Jeff um, buddy build, what I would do is kind of a little tutorial um, on something that, you know, I, I kind of like to do. Um, and so, um, I don't, uh, claim that my way is perfect. Um, and you know, it, you may look at it and say, well, I don't want to do that. I, I've got a better way and that's great. I just thought, you, thought I'd show you kind of how I do, um, kind of get a wood grain look, um, on something that, you know, you kind of want to look to look like wood. Um, these are the uh, cabinet work uh, that go inside the uh, the VW uh, camper that uh, Craig and I are working on as, as part of a buddy build. And so what I thought I'd do in this uh, video is just um, do a little brief tutorial on how I do this. Um, again, my way is not perfect, um, but uh, it works for me. Uh, and it's a pretty inexpensive way to do it, I think. Um, and it's kind of fun, really, once you once you get into it. But um, first of all, I'll kind of show you, you know, what all supplies that, that I use. Um, of course, we've got our, you know, we've got our piece. And what I did, this was primered. Uh, and then um, what I did is I just took my airbrush and just sprayed a, a coat of the uh, testers. This is the Model Master enamel. This is the wood. Um, and so that's kind of your base coat. And so we put a base coat of, of the wood uh, color uh, on our piece. And then what I do just to kind of seal that in, I just took this uh, Mod Podge. It's the matte clear acrylic sealer. You can get this at Walmart or uh, Hobby Lobby or, you know, just about anywhere probably. Um, and I sprayed it, you know, just to seal that wood because we're going to be working with oil paints to um, to do our wood grain. And so you don't want the, we're going to be using mineral spirits. And so you don't want that cutting into your um, enamel um, for this. So you put this acrylic sealer on it and it helps uh, to put a barrier between your enamel and your, your oil paints. Um, so that's kind of the second thing. And then what we've got to do our oil colors, uh, our oil paints. I, um, I've got three colors here. I've got burnt umber, uh, I've got yellow ochre, and uh, titanium white. These are all came in a set that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's the Master's Touch. I got these when they were running their uh, paint sets on for 50% off. I didn't pay. These are not expensive at all. You can get a set of oil colors at Walmart um, for, you know, pretty cheap. So um, these are the three colors that I'm going to use. If you want to, you know, bring in some more red, you can use a, a red uh, to pull that in. Um, you, if you want some lighter colors, you can use, you know, just whatever, a, a, a lighter yellow uh, or whatever. So, but these are the three colors that I've chosen to do for my, uh, uh, for mine. Uh, other thing, brushes. Um, this is the, I just use a little, uh, I don't know what even this brush is called, but it's, this is a 10-0. Um, it's an angular shader is what it's called. Um, it's a small brush because we're working kind of in a smaller scale. Uh, uh, this is what you're going to use to apply your paint. And then the other thing that I've got is a couple, just a couple of flat brushes. And these kind of stay dry. Uh, these are what you're going to use to blend, uh, to blend the, the oils together once you get them on your piece. So we'll, we'll talk more about that once we get started. But um, so I use kind of three brushes. Uh, and uh, actually, we may wind up using only two. So far, I've used only these two. And then the last thing that you're going to need, well, not the last thing. Um, I've just got a little bowl here, um, and it's, I put some, this is mineral spirits. 
<clears throat> again, you can buy that at Walmart. You can buy it at uh, Hobby Lobby, just wherever you buy craft supplies, paint supplies. Uh, you can get that uh, uh, mineral spirits, or I guess lacquer thinner would work. I'm, I'm not sure. I've always used the mineral spirits. So what I do is um, I just put down three little blobs of paint. I've got my, my burn umber, my yellow ochre, and my titanium white. Um, and then the, uh, uh, what I did is I just used a, a brush like this. Um, and then I just, you just stick it right in the middle of this first blob and pull some down and then stick it in the yellow. It's okay if they get mixed in, pull that into your, into your brown down here and then your white. Uh, you can, I just took some, I just stuck my brush in there and mixed it over here. And then you just kind of stir them together so that you've got some different shades of the three colors. Um, you've got your very darkest brown down into a, a lighter brown into a even lighter brown. You've got your yellow into a lighter yellow into a yellow mixed with brown. And then you've got your white um, that's kind of mixed in with the yellow and the brown just to lighten things up a little bit. So um, that's that's kind of your palette. Um, and so I'm gonna try to keep everything in the picture here. Um, I've got a little paper towel here and I'll show you, you know, what we're gonna do with that uh, as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do one piece. Uh, I'm gonna do one, uh, one of these, uh, I'm going to do the front of this and just kind of show you what I do. And so what I typically do is I start dark to light. Um, I go dark to light. So, uh, what I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, I'm going to take my flat brush, my, the brush we're going to use to layer color down. I'm going to dip it in the lacquer thinner, and then I'm just going to come over here and just get me some paint, load up my, load up my brush, um, with some paint. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, you know, uh, try to think like a piece of wood. Uh, what would I look like? Um, you know, what kind of colors, what kind of uh, uh, designs would I have? And so we're just, you know, no piece of wood is, is perfect. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna just put some color on um, wherever. As Bob Ross would say, just wherever, wherever. Uh, and, you know, there's no mistakes, really, because I've never seen a perfect piece of wood. So then we're going to take our dry, it's our dry flat brush. Um, and what we're going to do is just very, very lightly, we're going to just pull down on that, pull down on that color. And you'll see that it, it you know, It'll start to, it'll start to blend in. Um, you know, this first, first little bit, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't really seem to be going anywhere, don't worry about it. Um, because we're gonna, we're gonna start adding things to it. And uh, it's gonna look, it's gonna look much better. Uh, starting out, it doesn't look like much. But, uh, and then, you know, you can get a little rougher as you need to, to kind of get that, get that paint. You can see, hopefully, that it's, some of it's starting to lighten up. It's starting to blend in. You know, we don't really have any other oils or anything to, to blend it to right now. So, um, it's really not going much of anywhere because it doesn't have anything to mix with. But we're going to change that. Okay, so we've got our brush again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it off on my on my paper towel. Keep washing it until you know it's pretty clear. We're gonna go back into our uh, into our thinner, and we're gonna go with a little bit. It's a little bit lighter on the brown this time, and you can you know mix some more dark in if you want to. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start putting that on just wherever we think it might, it might go. And, you know, if you get into some of that dark that you've already put on there, that's good because we're gonna blend those together. 
Okay, so we'll just we'll just say that's pretty good. And then what we're going to do again is just take our take our flat brush, and we're just going to very lightly again start pulling down. What we're trying to do is, yeah, you, know, you want to try to do this pretty much in all one direction because we're working with a, you know what what would be a wood grain, um, and and wood grains run in run in one direction. So uh, just work that in, just blend it, blend it, blend it. And again, like I said, right now this doesn't, this doesn't look like much, uh, but we're gonna get there. Okay, when you're satisfied with it, it's time to go to the next step. So we're gonna wash our brush out again. Just till it's, till it's clear and, and you know, it doesn't even have to be clear. Uh, if you don't, if you want to mix in some of that, uh, some of that color you've just put on with the new color you're going to put on, go for it. Okay. So what we're going to do this time is I'm going to, I'm going to put in some yellow here. So I'm going to pull in some of this and uh, maybe some of these areas where we haven't really put any paint yet. I'm going to. I'm just gonna put in some, put in some yellow here. You know, think about, uh, you know, where you might like to, where there might be like a knot hole or something. Um, I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. But okay, so we got that. We've got our yellow down, and now again, same process. I'm just gonna. I'm going to work that in. Okay. So there's that. And now I'm going to wash my brush. So as you can see, there's just a lot of back and forth here. Um, putting paint on, blending it in, uh, and washing your brush out. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to we're going to lighten it up just a little bit. So we're going to I'm going to get some I'm going to get some of this white. And what I'm going to do here is just I'm going to I'm going to try to outline some of these some of these dark areas that we've already put on here just to kind of this will kind of bring some hopefully some depth to it just you know kind of outline and I'm going to put some of that in the middle there. Okay. So we've got our white on. And again, again, same thing. Work that in. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in the camera, guys, and still be able to to see what I'm doing here. And like I said, what's, uh, if it's not blending in the way you want it to with the lighter, with the lighter strokes, just can kind of bear down a little bit. All right, and then, you know, it's it's really just up to you how far you want to take it, um, how, you know, how, how much color you want to put on it, how much, you know, detail you want to put on it. 
Um, I'm going to go back in and just kind of not go the quite the uh, the darkest brown, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add in just a, maybe a little bit more uh, a couple of these areas, just you know, just because I want to. Okay, blend that in. And then one thing that I found too that you know kind of helps just really blend all of this stuff together is if you if you you getting towards where you think you want to stop if you'll take your blender brush and instead of you know going in one direction just uh, take it and very light circular uh, that'll help just kind of help blend everything together a little bit more like that and then to finish up you know I would just go back and just so you don't see any swirl marks okay so you know I'm 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 thinking I would almost call that pretty much good except what I'm thinking and I'm not trying to be Bob Ross here, but I've watched a lot of Bob Ross videos over the years and tried to do some of his painting techniques. But uh, I'm thinking, we got this big brown spot right here. And I'm thinking maybe, eh, I don't know, maybe that's a knot hole. So I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to barely dip my brush in and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip it onto the, I'm just going to tap it onto the paper towel to where it's not quite so wet. And I'm going to get a fairly good little glob of, of paint here. I'm going to say, there's a knot hole right there. And I don't know, maybe there's another little one up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just kind of kind of let that sit a second. And then with my with my blender brush, I am just going to not going to not going to do this. I'm just going to I'm going to tap That way you're kind of pushing the paint in, but you're not spreading it too much. And then we might just barely try to blend that in. So, yeah, maybe there's a little knot hole there. So, anyway, I've gone nearly 20 minutes with this, and uh, that's a lot longer than I usually like to go with my videos, but, you know, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to do, um, how to do some, some type of wood grain. Again, mine's not, mine is by far not the perfect way to do it. What I'll probably do after this is I'll just, I'll give this maybe a day to dry, uh, and then I will go back over it with the clear acrylic spray um, I thought about trying what Charlie Mack does and going over it with the, uh, the clear orange, um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to, I'll see how it looks with the acrylic spray on it, and then we'll go from there. But, uh, anyway, I uh, hope this is helpful to some people. Um, it, it, uh, it's fun. To me, it's fun, uh, because it, you know, it, it kind of looks, I think, pretty cool when you're done with it, but. Anyway, that's I'll cut it off for now. Hopefully that's helpful. You all have a great rest of your holiday. Have a safe weekend, uh, and we will see you on the next video. Y'all take care. Bye.